Oh, no. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, gosh. Oof, the size of that sheep. Oh, man. That's another big. Okay. Welcome back, everybody and or anybody. Christian with Make Time for Fishing here. Okay, really quickly before I start this video, I just wanted to give a disclaimer that unfortunately I was using a new camera in this video for the videos of me with the fish and the exposure is way too high. So they're really, really bright, kind of like what you see there. I'll show you really quickly though, uh, side by side of what it looked like before versus what it looks like after. But trust me, the fish caught in this video are way worth it. Enjoy the video. Back out on the same spot I was at in the last video. If you haven't seen it yet, you're gonna wanna check it out. It was the single best day of sheep's head fishing I've ever had. I'll link it up above. I uh, am going right back. Brought the proper rod. Last time I had my seven foot two medium power uh, toadfish rod, which I use for casting lures and basically fishing anywhere besides under a dock. I caught three fish over 20 inches last time, including a 23 and a half inch sheep's head. Biggest one I've caught in a long time, almost my PB. I'm going right back to the same area. I'll start out fishing some docks. It's gonna use side view, see if I can find some fish. And then of course, I'm gonna go right back to that same spot where I was pulling them all out of. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Put videos up like this twice a week. Anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm not wasting any time. I got a ton of fiddler crabs and I'm trying to feed them some fish. Enjoy the video, guys. All right, coming up on the first dock I wanted to fish here. Man, there's so much bait. It's gonna be a lower tide than when I was out here a couple days ago. That's all right. Unfortunately today, I uh, forgot my uh, fishing gloves, so I'm much more likely to cut my hands up fishing these docks by uh, touching the pilings. It's about two feet deep here, and it's still nearly two hours until uh, low tide. Oh, I think there's one here. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Nice, first fish. Wow. It's another problem with not having my gloves on. Fish are pretty pokey. Nice, um, probably 16 inch or super dark. When I first saw him, I wasn't sure what I was looking at there. See you, buddy. Whew, good first fish. It didn't take too long either. Decided I think I need to wear a protective glove on my left hand at least, just so I don't slice my hand up all day. Man. Oh, I always think they look so cool in their size. Of course, I also think they look pretty cool when they're 20 inches, but... That one might have been a drum, actually. Kind of took it and ran with it really quickly. Let's give it another shot and see. Another tiny little sheep. So red has to be. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. There's a big sheep's head under this dock right on the inside of this piling. But that's not my concern right now. My concern is the fact that I'm all the way around. Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here. Let's see if I can pass this around to my stall. Hopefully it's just down here. I have no idea what this fish did exactly. He is super hung up down there. If he's even still on. I haven't felt him in a while. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, no way. Good little redfish. Didn't think I was getting him out. Oh, I haven't landed him yet, but at least I got him out of there. Whew, that was a little hectic there. Really pretty guy. Got a nice blue tail. 
in about a little less than three feet of water. Probably 22, maybe 23 inches. He just took off on me though and got me in the structure really quickly. Hooked well, surprisingly, on that sheet sticker pro jig. Oof. I don't know how I got him out. It's a sheep. Where is it? Is this another red? It's heavy. Oh, that's got to be a red. Come on out. I'm not doing this twice. I don't know. It's just a good sheep. Oof. Oh, nice fish. All right, let's get a look at this guy real quick. Yeah, probably about 17. It's a good fish. Sheep sticker pro jig in the mouth. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find any more fish on here. It's already off to a great start on uh, one of the warm-up docks, I'll even call it. You know what? Let's check out this dock over here, this part of the dock. Could definitely be fish under it. Just drop next to the piling. Yep. This one's not big, but could be a big one under there. I feel like on the outside of these pilings back here, there could definitely be some uh, sheep's head. Like that. Let's come over here. This dock gets a little bit deeper again. Let's use that side view. See if we can find some fish. That was a fish. Felt like a sheep's head too. There he is, there he is. Pretty good fish. This is another keeper. Probably about 14, 14 and a half. Not huge, but it'd be tacos. <laughs> I've tried these pilings a ton of times and come up short every time. Like I said, about four feet deep. See if there's any others on this piling. Oof. Nice, that one's even bigger. Probably pushing 15, maybe even close to 16. You've been caught before, buddy. You should know better. It's got a hole right there. Oof. It's got me at the hook. Now this piling right here looks pretty good. That was a sheep. All right, decided to go with the free line. So no weight, just a hook. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, first drop, and I think I got a big. Yep. <laughs> Hit my transducer. <laughs> Not giant, but it's a good one. He was just sitting there with it. I had no idea. All right, nice um, 16, 17 inch fish. Let's watch the line, see if uh, we notice a bite. That time I really didn't notice the bite. Oh, that's the, possibly the bite. Yep. Oh. 
Oh man. Jeez. Oh man, is he pulling hard? It's just the second it got down there. This one's probably worth getting a picture with. Such a pretty fish. Let's get him back. little baby sheep's head. Hopefully this is just uh, a sign of what's to come. Little tiny teeth. Another one. You got into a rope or something there for a second. No, that's what I was waiting for. Oh gosh. Oh. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on. Now oh, he's in the rope. There he is, okay. Get him out here. Let's see him. Haven't seen him yet. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> wow. That is a good fish. That might be a 20. <laughs> Look at that guy. Wow, that's a monster. This is a, another stud sheep's head from the same spot where I was catching them last time. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful fish. Look at the mouth on him. He's just under 20, that is a fat 19 and a half. One last look at him, let's put him back. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is take some of these smaller fiddler crabs like these guys and I'm going to do a little live chumming, see if I can uh, keep any possible uh, big sheeps interested. So for that one I was doing two tiny split shots uh, just above the loop knot with that size one mosquito hook I like to use. another good one. I don't think he's as big as that last one, but it's a good one. Ooh. I mean, that's a big one too. Wow, he did not fight like that last one though, that's for sure. But he's pretty near the same size as that last one. I'd have to It's been about two minutes since I just let that other one go. He might be a little bit smaller, but this is another hefty sheep's head. Oh my goodness. Look at that guy. Barely got him in the lip too. It's hanging on there by a thread. Probably another 19 inch sheep's head. Something like that. Just barely in the lip there. <laughs> Gotta put another one in. This is, these are small fiddler crabs too. They're not anything big. There one. Oh my gosh. He didn't seem that big. Wow. Talk about a fish that grew on you. Holy cow. Instead of doing two of the smaller split shots, I decided to do one bigger one.
Oh man, that's another big. <laughs> wow. Let that drag walk down so I can yank him out of there. <laughs> He's still getting drag out. Probably another 19. Almost 20 again. All right, another nice, probably 19 incher. <laughs> and he's definitely going back, but uh, he's none too happy with me. <laughs> I don't even know if I got it on camera the release. Let's drop on the back side of this piling. When I did this for the first time the other day on the rising tide, I got absolutely hammered by a 21 and a half incher. Doesn't feel like a 21, but it's not small. Definitely a keeper. Oof, wow. Probably uh, 14, 15. Okay, went back to the Sheep Sticker Pro Jig from Bel Air Jigs. This is the half ounce one. Pretty good one. Hopefully he's not the only one there. Oh yeah, it's probably 17, 18 incher. Beautiful fish. I love the greens he's got on his face here. Hope you guys can see that all right in the camera. Straight out with the jig. Well, this one's little, but maybe there's more. I think there's one there. Okay. I guess a big sheep. really stand down. Wow. Uh. <laughs> yes. Yes it is. Uh, I need to get my net out. Come on. Oh gosh. <laughs> the size of that sheep. <laughs> oh god. I'm worried about losing him right now. Oh man. Oh, that's absurd. That's insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. This guy's even bigger than I thought. I need to uh get the grips on him, I think. Man. Definite big one of the day. It's got the Sheep Sticker Pro Jig in the corner of his mouth there. That's a great fish. Let's get a quick measurement and we'll get him back healthy. This sheep's head went 22 and a half. Gave me a run for my money under that dock. That was awesome. Whew, started peeling out drag. I figured he was a redfish, but once I got the weight of him on there, I knew it was a sheep's head. Whew, all right, let's get him back. Man, what a fish. Alrighty, well, I am calling it after that huge 22 and a half sheep's head. Man, that uh, totally caught me off guard. The bite had pretty much shut off. I was just trying to burn through the last couple of uh, fiddler crabs I had. And uh, first or second drop, I just, I felt a tiny little tap 
And I was like, all right, there seems to be a sheep's head there. So I dropped back down, maybe 20 seconds later, picked it up, set the hook, and he just took off. I thought he might have been a red drum, but whew, that was awesome. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I, I guess lightning kind of did strike twice. I'm glad I got back out here and did the same thing again uh, with the right rod because, man, was that fun. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Remember to make some time for fishing, and have a good day. Bye.